Yo, it's the end of the week. I'm here to wrap it up right. Talking about game and sports and maybe life. I ain't decide yet, so tune in to the show. Guess the parents is I. I don't really know. I'm the Paris. I'm here to do it my way. Click, clap, bang on any troll, so don't press play. A new series. I'm wrapping up the week, so comment on the subjects being given. I don't speak. Ah, weekly wrap up. Yo, what's good, people? This your boy, Authentic973. This your boy, The Past 57, and I'm back with another episode of the Weekly Wrap-Up. We're playing some Kai Ghost here. It's going to be a short gameplay, but I definitely want to start off with saying a big thank you to all my subscribers, man. It's been wonderful, man. For real, I, I greatly appreciate you guys. And, um, got a comment on one of my videos, and the dude said, how is it that you only have, like, 8,000 subscribers? You deserve so much more. And I was meaning to um, respond to dude because I was going to say my army is like King Leonidas. We like the, the 300 clan. Like, it ain't the size of the army. It's the fight in them. And you guys have been holding me down ever since you guys came on the Team Bang. And I want to just say thank you. But with that being said, let's get into the weekly wrap up. Um, for starters, I want to talk about something that I forgot to talk about last week. And that was a new release came out last week for... I don't know how many of you guys have the Wii U, but... It was the, the Wii U had a major release and it was Donkey Kong's Tropical Country Adventures, I want to say. I think it was Tropical Adventures or something like that. And I mean, you know, if you grew up with Nintendo and at a younger age, you know, especially back in the 80s and early 90s, you know, Donkey Kong and Mario, those, those was real, those was the games. Like, you, you stressed out trying to beat Mario and Donkey Kong, but they brought out a new one. So if you guys have the Wii U, hey, go copy. You know what I mean? It's been kind of light this year with um, new releases. So I mean, any type of new game is is a great is a great game. I mean, have some potential at least. But with another thing I want to talk about is another new release that's coming out this week is the release of Thief. I will be getting that for the PlayStation 4. So I'm looking looking forward to that. I've seen some gameplay of Thief, and I I am looking forward to playing that game but what else can we talk about let's talk about the all-star game the um east all-stars beat the west all-stars 163 to 155 Melo hit eight threes and Kyrie was mvp now a lot of, it's been a lot of speculation going around with Kyrie Irving a lot of people are saying Kyrie's going to leave and i mean i don't know if Kyrie i don't know if Kyrie Kyrie Irving is thinking about leaving or not but i mean he hasn't he hasn't been really a well, he's a bright spot for Cleveland, but he hasn't really, it really has an amount to wins. And I don't know if that's Kyrie's fault, is that coaching fault, is that who they drive for? Because we all know Anthony Bennett is cheeks. So they definitely got to get Kyrie some help. My man, Ed Jones, he, he keeps saying LeBron's going back to Cleveland. We have to wait and see. Richie Incognito tweeted an apology to Jonathan Martin. Really, yo, aren't, aren't we tired of this story? Like, I'm tired of this story. I just have to talk about it because it was news last week in sports. But I'm tired of that story. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Um, the Redskins signed to D'Angelo Hall to a four-year contract extension. D'Angelo Hall has been a, a, a solid a solid corner in the NFL for what at least ten years. I mean, he's been doing he's been, he's been doing it for a while. So you know, he's more, probably the Redskins' best corner. So I, they definitely needed to re-sign him. LeBron shows support. Um, for Tony Romo and said that he's a great quarterback. He just needs to play his game. All he can do is all he can do is his best to help his team win. And if he knows, if he knows he did that, he can sleep at night. LeBron, chill, B. Tony Romo, best is not good enough. Tony Romo needs to practice more. He needs to keep his composure more. Like. I, and I don't even want to shit on Tony Romo this past year because Tony Romo had a good year. He's been he was going through some injuries. He was going through some injuries this season. But the reason my Cowboys, y'all know I'm a Cowboy fan. The reason we was trash this year was definitely because of the defense. We couldn't stop anybody, and every, the whole league knew it. So they just people people pick their fantasy teams, <laughs> pick their fantasy players on who the Cowboy played. So that's definitely. We need to improve there with de defensively. We need to improve there. The Pacers traded Danny Granger to the Sixers for Lavoy Allen and Evan Turner. Definitely want to know how you guys feel about that trade. I think 
I think picking up Evan Turner is a, is a good move for the Pacers. Not too sure about Danny Granger. He might be one of those guys that, you know, it might he might be almost might be done. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. I hope I hope it was a good trade for everybody, but we have to wait and see. The NFL Combine started this weekend. Who y'all looking forward to seeing in the Combine? The little dude I want to say was it Kent State, but the little running back I think his last name is Archer or Arthur. But he ran like a 4-3 speedy dude, you know. So we have to see where he get drafted at. Another thing, LeBron James broke his nose against o Oklahoma City Thunder. And the Nets signed Jason Collins today to a 10-year, 10-year, excuse me, a 10-day contract. And um, he's in a lineup tonight against the Lakers. So let me know what you guys think about that. I'm your boy Authentic973. I'm your boy LaPaz57. Y'all can comment, like, subscribe. I appreciate all y'all. Y'all know how I end my shit. Bang!